Today, I'll be showing you how to do your crypto taxes if you have the Celsius Network Wallet. Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today we're talking about Celsius. Um, the breakdown of this video is pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll talk a little bit about the wallet itself to begin with, then I'll jump into the integration part of this video, and then I will show you how to download the necessary tax documentation depending on which region of the world you're from. And then lastly, I'll leave you with um, some resources. If you have any questions, you can contact our support team and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So Celsius was founded in 2017 and is based out of London, England. They hold over $26 billion in assets and have over 1 million users. And apparently, according to them, they've paid over $1 billion in yield uh, and rewards since 2018. So they've paid out over 1 billion in, in yield and rewards. That's kind of wild. Um, this brings us to the main selling point of Celsius, which is the high interest earning options. They claim that they can earn, they can earn you up to 18% API every week on their service with certain cryptos. So um, let me know if you're using this exchange. It's very popular. It's highly requested, but I'm really curious to see if anyone has these kinds of um, insane returns. So for the integration part of this video, I'm going to show you the API method, highly recommended. Um, there's really no need to use the CSV file, but I will tell you if you're interested how you can download that as well. So let's jump into it. So as we always do, we start off by logging into Coinly, going into the wallet section, clicking add wallet. Then we're gonna find Celsius network and there it is. And we have the setup auto sync and the import from file. This one is highly recommended. Um, and the one that I would say, um, you know, you, sh you should do if you'd like, I'll tell you how you can get the CSV file later. So let's start off with this one. So we're going to need just the API key. Okay. So we're here on the Celsius exchange in the top right corner. We're going to click on the drop down menu and then we're going to click API. It's going to take us to this menu at the very bottom. Um, we're interested in create a unique API key to uh, read some Celsius data on external devices. So we're going to click create a new key. Then we'll click um, the options we have here. So we have just a bunch of read options, read balance, read transactions, read trans transfers, read withdrawals. As you can see, there's no um, write transactions. So Coinly cannot move or touch your funds. And that's not something Coinly is, is interested in anyways. Then we're going to click generate and we're going to copy and paste that key into Coinly. Okay, so once you've copy and pasted that cl key, click secure import and your transactions will start loading up into Coinly. Okay, the second method, which I'll just mention briefly because I think the API is fantastic. Um, if you'd like to get the CSV file, you're gonna have to go into your app, um, click on your profile icon in the top right corner, and then scroll down, you'll see a option to download transaction history. So click that. And then lastly, you can ask to receive a CSV file via email. Once you receive that file, import it into Coinly and I'll show you how to do that. So once again, we go on Celsius. We wanna find our um, Celsius network. We're gonna go here, import from file, and then we're gonna find a file to drag and drop, the one that you received from your email from Celsius. Okay, so once you've dragged and dropped that file into Coinly, click import, and just wait a few seconds for the transactions to load, 26 transactions in total, and now you can go back to your wallets and you can see those transactions loaded in here. But there you have it, pretty straightforward. You can use either route if you'd like. If you're uncomfortable with using the API, you have the CSV file option. Now I'll show you how to download the necessary tax documentation. So head over into tax reports. Here you'll get a summary of all your transactions, your capital gains, your expenses. And this is a fantastic place to kind of monitor your crypto activity throughout the year. And then lastly, at the bottom part here, you can choose the necessary tax documentation for your region. And this nice little graphic on the screen before you shows you some options. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also download uh, TurboTax online and desktop versions. We have forms for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia. And then lastly, for Canada, Germany, other countries, we have the complete tax report. And this uh, complete tax report is a document you can give separately to your accountant and they can combine it with your other tax documentation to file or alternatively you can invite them to the Coinly platform to set up their accountancy firm. And then lastly what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations. This tax report, this paid tax plan 
could be deductible in your country. So keep that in mind. And that brings us to the conclusion of this video. I'm going to leave you with some links down below for, you know, questions that you might have uh, and answers hopefully that we can provide. So here is the Coinly Help Center. We have countless articles so you can get educated on crypto tax laws and understand crypto uh, tax laws in general. And then we have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message or an email and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.